fun. So without further ado, let's jump into the top right side. Our blue Zerg player is Dar. And on the bottom side of the map is going to be Max Pax. All right, well, Max Pax and Dark, best of seven, will begin right here. I wonder if this is pre-played, actually, because no camera on Dark right there. All right, well, let's see what goes down. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be fun no matter what, of course, so I'm absolutely expecting this to be a good one. Hopefully you guys are very much expecting it to be a good one as well. And we get into some SC2s here on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. We're midway through the week, of course. Um, just a, a little heads up, and I'll probably say this again later as well, but this is my second to last day covering Moss Coliseum. I will not be here on, um, I will not be here for, to, uh, I'll be here tomorrow, but then I won't be here for Friday, Saturday, or Sunday's games. Just a little heads up that we will be missing those. Um, intending to catch up after the, after the weekend, so once we're into the new week, hopefully we'll play a little bit of catch up there, and be able to zoom on through and enjoy the games next week alongside I imagine some more OSC and stuff uh, as the build up to Katowice will continue anyways we get into this and we get into this hatch yes I'm cool opening the next is coming down on the side of Max Pax and it was the hatch reforced well not really forced but it's going to be taken onto the gold base you never forced onto the gold base Max Pax did come across which could have blocked this uh, on the normal location anyways either way Doc wants to go to the gold that's something which Max Pax, at the very least, you can figure out quickly now, so you know it's a thing. That's obviously a pretty good thing in its own stead as well, so be pretty happy there. As again, the Cyber Core and the Nexus both continuing through. And we just got ourselves set up for a few moments right now. See where this game is going to take us. Cool. Obviously finishing, we do start the Adept and the Warp Gate straight away. Obviously best of seven, so with the gold base up as well, I do wonder if we go into that Twilight Council. Pretty much everyone has gone Twilight Council against Dark when he gold bases on this map. Um, why? Well, <laughs> great question. I think uh, a couple of reasons why you may do so. Uh, it gives you choice. It gives you options, right? So you have the option to play Blaved Adept. Should this be just a macro off of the gold? If it's an all-in of the gold, we've seen Dark Templar and those punishing any sort of aggressive attack that then cannot have detection because this attack from Dark would be without a uh, without a lair available, right? So those are the two couple main diversions we've seen from this sort of situation. Uh, we'll see what we get this time around as we just have, again, that walk gate. Working on through the link speed's about halfway done. Gonna drop a second gateway down right there as well. And the Adept is chilling out on the watchtower for a few more moments. In these early stages, Claves is going to be the choice. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really make uh, much sense to go otherwise, and he's not really seen anything to suggest that he should do otherwise either. Link Speed coming up from Dark, and obviously he will look to play off of that gold in the near future, but he's going to have to play a defensive setup because obviously with the Claves coming in, these Adepts are looking to harass. And we are going to get very aggressive here as Max Packs, and he is really going to look to rip part Dark apart. Really hoping to take advantage of the portion of this game where Dark is going to be just less than ideally set up, basically, is what this comes down to. He's going to be in a situation where he's, you know, split across multiple bases. Defending those multiple bases is going to be difficult. It's going to be more expensive than usual because, again, you're spread out, and that spread out is going to suck for you a little bit. So that's definitely a part of the factor here. Let's just see that Glaive's coming through for a moment. And those few devs are going to make their way forward, so on they go. Looking for an opportunity, looking for a chance. Going to take the Watchtower as we go about this as well, so just taking that. Nothing, again, really surprising or anything just yet. Let's just have a Prism on the way up as well, so we get that ready too. And we just make ourselves an opportunity to keep on harassing. Now, Roaches are coming up. Obviously, you got to get the defenses ready. Again, the weakness of Dark is that he's going to be spread across all of these bases, right? So, spread across all these different locations. That's where this game can become very tough for him because the Adepts have the mobility. It's not just necessary about the first round of Adepts. What about the second round of Adepts that can just warp in elsewhere as well? And there's no rule that says all your Adepts have to be warped into the same fight, right? So, 
that's going to be part of this problem. And there's a couple of adepts at the front. It's going to go shading towards the gold. And then the rest of these adepts are going to threaten the natural. And yeah, we're going to show up on the gold. There's only two queens there, so that will take a little while to clean up. These adepts are going to start fighting. Two drones dead so far. And now we're going to get to four drones. So this is one way for Max Pax to just guarantee some of that initial damage. Robobay is coming up as well, so we get that going. And again, some extra adepts warping in over to the left-hand side. Torches and probes still coming about, and these adepts still looking for their chance to make a bit of a play as well. Looking for their opportunity here. Prison comes over. Queen will take a few shots also. And these adepts still back around into the center of the map. The lair coming up. The extra drones on the way. Well, Max Pax trying to get himself set up into the future here, as you can maybe perhaps tell. Roaches do fight against a few of those adepts. Disruptor's actually on the way out for Max Pax. That's going to be his follow-up. Heading into that Disruptor. A little bit different. A little bit unique. Interesting choice. Intrigued to see how that will continue to go for him here. As we see the Bailing Nest coming through as well. And the Evo Chamber and the Lair. Definitely seeing Dahl committing through to this melee upgrade. Most likely Ling Bane kind of style. Playing that out and looking to work that one into his game plan overall. Not, a, not an odd game plan, nothing we haven't seen before, right? So, pretty standard in that regard. And again, just going to be seeing the melee with the Roach speed both continuing up. So, we'll have, again, a lot of the Ling Bane, but then the Roaches will be speedy to accompany this and to try and help out with this as well. So, that's going to be, again, a factor kind of just across the board here in terms of how things go and how we get settled at the start of this one. the stalkers as well as we prepare ourselves for the next wave of this deck for the next round of action and go straight across the other side and we're just going to be seeing the blood deaths continue to move through so the are still moving around stalkers coming across the overlord getting knocked down we have again this disruptor and that's going to be an important zoning tool and it really is going to dictate the way in which some of these fights will go for um dark so that's uh, again 100 percent something you got to kind of keep your eyes on a little bit Let's see this disruptor shot, for example, gonna find two ravages, and that is where you can find a lot of damage. So, already finding good damage, as you see the adepts continue to fight. A queen taking some shots, some lings getting some hits. And if the adepts committing through, though, I mean, at least you're gonna be giving these up as max packs. Then Dark doesn't have to worry about those any longer. I would say that max packs gave up a lot there for not really too much gained in the end. Not really ideal. As our stalkers come back across. Prism loads up again, a couple of those disruptors coming around and relocates. It was a slightly, we just have ourselves extra stalkers warping in again, disruptor. And dropped off, gonna try and fight a shot, I think it fired too far forward there, so it's just gonna go down, it's not gonna have the time it's looking for. And that is gonna be this base in trouble. Max Pax, I think, gave him too many units, Stark's counterattack is looking strong. And it looks as though he is gonna be feeling rather comfortable about his position here. In this game, number one, continue to attack in on Alcyone. Max Pax just honestly didn't do much with the initial adepts, right? Which is what led to it maybe being a tad behind, but then the follow-up attack fully just not doing enough and losing a lot of those units and trying to force harassment is just not going to do it for him either. The single Colossus is in some trouble. You're going to see the Disruptor shot through for a couple of those Roaches as well. So a few shots off there. That's going to be GG's and Dark is going to pick up game number one of this best. When they've been meeting and Dark has been able to do much, much better for himself then. So we'll be... Uh, See now this continues on as we have Dark one side, Max Pax the other. Here on Gold Nora for our second game of this best of seven. Good luck, says Dark. <laughs> Thank you, Dark. I'm sure Max Pax will need it after being down a map. Obviously, uh, Gold Base in the bottom left corner is much less reachable and, and kind of obtainable. Or attainable for, for Dark in this game compared to the last. So do not expect him to be kind of Gold Base in it up a second time around. I uh, would be very surprised if we saw that in fact, so... Yeah, that would be the big shocker in my eyes.
Patrick goes down on the third location because the probe is there to block it, so Max Max making sure he doesn't get the natural up easily. That's one thing Max Max will be very consistent about. As again, the gateway comes in, the assimilator comes up, we get all of that on the go. moments of getting settled obviously not too much going on nothing too crazy just for now do you have the spawn pool coming up the hatch coming along with it and obviously and wait for the side core to really be done for the Protoss player to figure out what exactly the plan is, right? What exactly are we going to be going into here? What is our goal? What is our aim? What's our target? That's all really decided by this, you know, the cyber core, whether that's a Stargate or Twilight Council, that's what will lead us into it, so that's where those choices will be made. Target coming up, the next is coming by. Yeah, we have the Adept on the way. A couple more probes coming about as well. We just see how things speed coming through too. As a few drones on the way up, the hatchery is coming in. The Adept continues to the upper left hand side. Gonna get the natural on the way down as well. So just getting a bit of everything on the go for the moment. And that link speed is about halfway through for now. So continue to get that going. The Adept firing, one drone already being picked away at. More drones still giving chase a little bit. A couple of links firing through the adept taking damage. It's got a couple of links coming over in the probe. And chase back for a second as well. Oracle coming through. Warp gates coming up. Another gateway will just go down. More probes on the way out. We'll get coming through. I was going to see uh, a couple of queens coming through as well. And again, the Oracle is coming about. The we'll get about to finish. The Ling's going to come over. They're looking to get a grab on those Adepts. They're just looking to nab those pretty much immediately. And that's a nice little shutdown there as the Oracle is moving around and obviously now creating some of the map control that we're likely to continue seeing here throughout this next few moments of the game. Ling is nibbling up, Nexus is taking some damage, and the Oracle again coming back across, trying to find itself some more opportunities here for the moment as we just have the Polite Council continue to come through. Again, we're coming in, the extra drones and the Ling's all producing fruit as well. Seeing our single stalker picking away at the Overlord. And that Overlord will indeed go down, so just going to see that picked up. Obviously, a nice little grab there. And we see our Nexus and our Twilight Council. A couple extra gateways all coming through, just for the moment. Our souls are going to keep on making their ways across. Seeing the couple queens going to be there. Oracle getting pushed back once again. A little bit more damage being done. And we just have the Nidus Network coming up from Dog. So he's going to get aggressive here on Golden Aura. He wants to go for a little bit of a killing move and try and catch Max Pax unawares and off guard. So we'll see if he can succeed on that one. Let's so get that started. Again, the Stalkers are here, so the Zergon will get turned around immediately. The Oracle's still in the center. Moving about as well. The Nidus is not far from being finished up. 
in the blink to follow that as well. As let's see if Max Max can survive. Obviously, first night just goes up right in the corner. Pylon should see that, no? Surely, there's, there's no way we don't. Max Max does begin to move in the direction to deal with it, but it's quite far along as units were very out of position. Obviously, no blink yet, so not able to come across the map or come across super quickly. Queens are out. Transfuse the Niners! No, no transfuse available? No, that's a. Uh, well, that's awful for Dark. Well, oh, the Lynx just run in! Okay, this is huge because now the Niners might come up. Lynx not done yet, so these Stalkers are going to be stuck in the corner. Oh, they're going to recall from your own base. Oh my goodness, I mean, considering a lot of these queens went down though, I mean, we still have a few popping out. There's Lings absolutely everywhere at the moment. Oracle's already activating their energy. Another knight is down at the bottom side, and Oracle goes down to the queens. That's going to be absolutely huge. You don't really want to let that happen too often. The more that that happens, the worse off you're going to be here as Max Pack's on the defense. Gateway's going down. Less stalkers are going to be available as well at this rate, so this is getting worse and worse. Absolutely. The Lings continue to wrap around. The Lings continue to look for some further damage. As you do see a couple extra gates and the Stalkers coming through. Oh man, I mean... The Dark has still got a bit of a supply lead. Is it enough? I can't believe these Lings were just allowed to walk in. If that doesn't happen, this is such a different situation. Just a little bit more favorable to Max Packs through and through. 20 probes down. Nexus has gone on the natural. This is becoming more and more difficult to recover from as dark infestation pit drones back at home as well. Realizing he may not be able to push through with everything, but realizing he can absolutely make himself a bit of a play. These lings get locked in. They're going to realize it, and so they start ahead for the Nidus network instead. They're like, let us in! Three of them did not fit through the doors before they shut as the stalkers knock that Nidus down. Uh, Dark misplaying there slightly with the second infestation bit. Obviously not necessary in the current situation, so that is just a mistake from Dark. Getting caught up in the moment and just uh, misplaying that one slightly as we do see the again, Evo Chamber coming through. Infestation bit still coming up. The Twilight Council and the Gateway continue to come by as well. Again, Nexus plus one attack and the Twilight Egg thing being brought through for the moment here in this follow-up. Obviously, now you have the Blink Stalkers, and maybe with enough of them, you can get across the map to harass a little bit. Remember that uh, we lost a few, but I mean, we lost the natural, but I mean, Dark made it a lot to be able to do this in the first place. Dark's economy was not in a good place starting off from here, so it's absolutely worth remembering. In fact, it's very important to remember, I think, as we move forwards. I see those lings wrapping around on a set of rocks as well. And a few more stalkers getting warped in too. And the oracle's still hanging out overhead. A single zergling gets picked off already. And a couple queens continue past, and we do have. For the moment, at least. These stalkers making their way across the map. Dark trying to obviously expand and get set up into this next stage of the game for himself, but again, still feel like that's going to be something of a challenge. Yeah, those things getting caught on that stasis. The stalkers come back through. Still see stalkers in the center around that right hand side as plus two attack, charge, both coming in. We get that going for both players here. And again, just having our stalkers making their way across for the moment. Trying to see what it is they may be able to find. Stalkers continue to move about just a little bit. Let's see ourselves the Viper, the Chitin is playing on the way. So again, that infestation pit has led to a very fast hive. The attempt to switch into Ultras. Dark definitely did enough to obviously guarantee himself a, a stage into the next portion of this game. That's never a guarantee. Uh, you know, it, it often, you know, oftentimes we see it quite difficult to actually make those kind of transitions happen for yourself, right? So... Able to get there, despite it being an all-in. He did enough, but not quite enough to kill. And so now the question becomes, how will Max Pax be looking once Dark gets to that further tech? I think that's actually going to be a very interesting question in the next 
handful of moments as Lingus continue to peruse around. The fourth base on the high ground to the right side is currently looking pretty stable, though. The Ling is not making their way over there, so it doesn't seem to be any problems. Let's have an hour. Uh, again, Bailin has coming through. The extra Ling's coming in. The Burrow, the plus two melee, and Carapace coming up as well. We do have our Kitness playing continuing through, too. And again, our Stalkers, our Sentries, the Colossus continue to gather up just for the moment. And all chilled out. Plus two, plus two. Continue to come in. Got our burrow on the way out as well. So again, continue to bring this by for the moment. As we get ourselves all set. A couple of force fields go down. And those lings are going to end up being caught. And well, now we attempt Nidus at the same time. I mean, I like all the walls that Max Pax is making against Ultras. The Nidus attempt is obviously a good idea from Dark then to try and open up the map in a scenario where he's maybe not looking so comfortable, not looking so hot. Things come over, a couple of these elves get chased down. The Prism going to be still keeping up to the top side as well. So still keeping those aggressive options available to you as Max Pax. Still will have those as opportunities and chances to utilize in the next few minutes. So continue to look towards that because that's definitely something Max Pax wants to lean upon. Chance to, you know, throw units at dark. A little bit is going to keep Dark's army back at times, and again, just a lot of good reasons you can have for all of that. Storm coming through. Prism is on the way up as well. Let's just have again a couple of Stargates coming out right here. Two zealots in the bottom left, just gonna get grabbed as well. I mean, again, anything you can do is dog to clean up the map a little. He's now making his way to the greatest spire and the second spire, so looking for further upgrades and really looking to delve into the latest stages of this game. Dog not messing around in that regard. He is absolutely committing through. He believes he can get there, and all credit to him if he thinks he can get there. Then fair be, fair play. To be fair, Max Pax is not making any aggressive moves of his own. He is very much so sitting pretty laid back on this one so far. Clearly feeling as though the damage taken early is not going to allow him to get onto the map and too uh, fruitfully. So like I say, just going to hold it back a little bit instead. Harry is on the way from Max Specs. He's also just happy to play the latest stages of the game. Kind of makes sense, right? The sort of thing you see a lot of the time. Not really too surprising. See this coming around on this uh, scenario, so get that up and rolling. Get this ready to go. Just gonna have the pylon dropping in over to the right. Ultra Ling Bane still gathering together. I'm just gonna be seeing a couple of Zells gonna go chasing down some Zerglings as well. Just trying to find a little extra over there. And the rest of these guys moving around. Here, yeah, there, and everywhere, just trying to figure out what it is that they're truly really trying to get up to these next few moments. Carriers and the plus two and everything being brought up as well. Plus, I will fire up and a couple of Balins going down. These Zerglings still trying to press at the front as well. We've got Vipers coming through. Corruptors, Spore, building for now. Yeah, these carriers just continue out to the forward position. A bunch of beans being brought up. Just get those on the way. And uh, we do see Dark ready to kind of bust through. Actually, Bane's from both sides of these probes. They yeah, don't really have a great place to run. We do storm one portion of these Balins. You're actually just bailing down the Nexus. Wow. Well, that's actually a pretty big deal. 
Knocking down the, the Nexus, obviously knocking Max Max down at base. Obviously the question is, how much does Dark have to spend to do this? Is it worthwhile? Can he afford to take trades like that? Those could be the problems. Planes continue through the Yildra coming by. Planes come back over again. The mothership coming in. Couple carries finishing. Plus two air weapons, shields, plus two armor. About a finish on the ground as well. All the upgrades from Max Specs as we enter these later stages. New Parasite coming up from Dark. So he's going to be able to grab a couple units, take control of them, and, and really dictate what they end up doing as well. Let's just see. Our corruptors, our infestors, and our ultras continue to move around. Wing's going to dive on in. Couple of cannons immediately going to take some damage. Storm, storm. Festers, Ultras all taking shots, the Fungal Growths landing nicely, and the Storms continue onto these Corruptors, getting abducts on the Carriers, however, and obviously the Colossi die the Corruptors as well. Corruptors are such kings in this kind of a fight, as there is going to be some Stalker Archon to chase those Corruptors down at the end. Corruptors continue to come through, looking for the next kill. The Carrier still taking damage. Do you have eight more probes having gone down during this Max Pax? 150 supply. Whereas Dark is just rebuilding on 11 Ultras. He took down enough carriers, there's not going to be a lot of DPS there. And you see a bunch more High Temple again warped in as well. So we continue to bring those through. We continue to get those set up. And get this on the way. Knocking down the base in the bottom corner. So that will go down. Gonna mothership recall back over here to try and protect this base. There's only a handful of corruptors as the ultras and the queens are making a march forward with the creep spread coming forward as well. Seeing that uh, mothership cloaking continuing, just trying to help out, trying to survive. Oh, just gonna dive through. A couple of these Archons already getting knocked away at. And you've seen those Ultras diving straight on forwards. A couple of High Templar going down. Stalkers and Archons gonna be there as well. These Ultras really diving all the way through. As you do have the Corruptors and the Queens continuing to knock down the Carriers and a big push in from Dark. Looking as though he's absolutely given himself. Yeah. Looking as though he's gonna give himself a really good old chance right now. To take a 2-0 lead. Finally take control of this late game. Let's come back over to the right. Some more units continue to move around for a little bit. Carriers firing through, interceptors firing up. We do have a couple extra carriers still on the way in. Obviously, again, they are going to be a stand, standing strong tool, but I mean, with only four bases, max packs can only really last so long. Interceptors, mothership, continue to come around.
Carry coming up, Voidra is still on the way. I mean, again, you're trying to build just one Ultra Army here for Max, just to try and take one big fight and then maybe get straight across the map. Great. Now just continue to hang around again. A few more balance coming up, a couple more Vipers on the way through. We have the Lone Swarmos Locust. Having a little bit of a nibble as well. And the order is coming up. We got ourselves ready to go. Just gonna see how like Ultra coming across for the moment still. Up down the gold base, and Max Pack's gonna get over there. Has to recall back though, because the main army is coming, so it's again gonna be a battle of positioning and well, we pop up the Mothership Cloak, and is that going to be... Uh, we have the Overseers here, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue for Dark to still fight this if he wants to. The Ultra's trying to break on through, though, not getting very far. Only 14 probes died in this. I felt like it should have been so much more. Let's see those Vodros continue to go through. Yeah, no, Voidra is continuing to come up. Corrupt is on the way. Gonna be seeing that Vodra still coming up. Just gonna be seeing the drone and the hatchery coming up as well. Gonna be seeing our ultras and our queens continue to gather together. Vodra is continue down the right side again, looking to see where they might be able to go. Carrier's coming across, a couple of these intercepts are going to get knocked down, Vaudreuil's stalkers continue to come over, the mothership is chilling for the moment. And I'm just going to dive through. Just going to be seeing that corruptor's diving forward, just going to be seeing that mothership. Going to pop the cloaking up, Dark again taking one more big fight and Again, he's just got Max back starved, so Max back has not been able to rebuild as Dark has going into each of these engagements. I feel like nothing's dying, although the carry account is slowly taking a turn for the worst. The corrupt account was not exactly doing it quickly. And that is going to be GG's. Dark is our Zerg. Max Fax is our Protoss. Number three. This best of seven. So get this underway. Get this started up. There's a couple of drones coming about.
Next as it goes down, just gonna be seeing a hatch gas and pool continuing to shoot. And next is Cybercore, similarly continue up, Hatch Gas and Pool continuing through. Stargate coming up, Blink Speed and a couple queens coming through. So the Voidra coming up, the Adept coming through, Wolfgate okay, coming in as well. That Ling Speed's still building. Activates Overlord will take some shots. Oracle and the wall gate still continuing through. The next is coming up with the gateway coming in as well. And you see again just another link or two coming around the top side. Voidra will be there to fight up on those Zerglings, chase those down that little bit. And do have again the more sport crawls continue to come by. Activates one drone goes down, small crawl of flaring to push that oracle back again. The next is halfway through, the couple extra probes coming in. Uh, Twilight Council will build on the side of Max Packs. Again, the Twilight Down of Forge will build as well. Points are there, Oracle takes a few shots, Twilight and the Forge continues to go through. And we'll see where Max Packs takes this for the next stage of the game very shortly. Uncle's dive in, couple drones going down. We see in the void ray activating, just gonna be grabbing one more of those drones, just gonna be able to pick that off as the oracles continue back up the right hand side. Still got plus one and blink on the way in. Gates coming about. Continue to come through. Just gonna be seeing another probe getting picked up. That uh, coming through, again the melee upgrade halfway done, a few lings coming up, overlords going in, the oracle's gonna go back to the upper right hand side. The lings is nibbling up on those rocks, and again the stalker's gonna be over here, fighting against those lings for a little while, just pushing those back once again as you do see our plus one, and that blink continuing to come through. Now, uh, 
halflings continue to move about just a little bit here. See now Nexus is gonna drop down. Plus one attack coming through, the Robo Bay coming up, and the Nexus as well. So it's gonna fight. A couple of queens is gonna be taking some damage. A couple of drones already down. Obviously, these stalkers pushing up, and the Lings are gonna now chase. That's why you want to get away as Max Pax is. They're going to start making their way into that Robo Bay. Colossus starts up as well. As long as we'll continue to chase on through those Sorgas again, wrapped around. The Oracle's going to activate, go after those Zerglings. We can't have our things continue to chase away for the moment. So again, pushing that down for now. So we've seen the Lings getting turned around once again, so good damage still being done. Again, plus two melee, plus one carapace coming through. The Ling Bane in production, and more Lings up the right-hand side. We've got Stalkers here. We're gonna try and fight against those Zerglings. Uh, Additional Bane Lings in the center. Lings already getting themselves up on top of that Nexus on the right, so just gonna pick that through. Well, probes went down. The Super Battery dies. And again, the Lings is gonna finish off this Nexus. Here come the Bane Lings in towards this mineral line on the top. 13 probes are dropping. The Lings continue by. I mean, Dark is... All over the harass, but he's losing uh, losing a lot of units in doing so. And that does mean that his overall supply is not that healthy compared to Max Pax. So this might be a time for Max Pax to start just about turning this around a little bit. The Hive is about to finish. The extra Lings with the plus two melee and the plus one Carapace is all coming about. With the extended Thermal Lance coming through for the Colossi as well. All of that currently being brought into play. The Ultra Cavern is also starting in the back of the main. Still gives the Colossus continue to gather up. Again, we just get ourselves the Adrenal Glands and the 2-2 melee upgrade still building. So, Dark is powering forwards into his main kind of portion of the composition. So, if you can get there, maybe the, the lack of supply lead is... a little bit of a factor. Thing's going to chase around a little bit. Again, Temple Archives coming through. See now, Stalker's trying to fight. Colossus coming through. Ling's going to get chased away. And Prism just going to be pushed back there. The Queens are there to chase things away. The Lings are going to be there as well. Stalkers and Zelda still pushing through. Max Pax on this attack as Dark has yet to really fully power up. Seen that Viper is going to lose one of them already. Now the Ling's going to run forward. Stalker is going to get rid of a second Viper before he can do anything. Finally, an Abduct comes down and a second one at that. So that one Viper finally able to deliver after the previous two got shot down early. That's huge. Ling's come over. Just going to be seeing a stays toward catch. I'm going to try and run by here. I'm not sure we'll get anything. Uh, there's one Ultra on the counter-attack gets caught as well as right cut up with some High Templar. Shame he couldn't pick those off as Dark. Yeah, he's actually going to get this Nexus. I was not convinced he was going to be able to get that, but the units are unable to get over here in a, a smooth enough fashion, and so Dark knocks down a base, and Dark continues to dominate at the moment. Well, Storm is about to finish. We just have ourselves the Immortal coming up, Prism coming through, and a few more Ultras and Lings continue to go in here on the side of Dark as well. That Burrow and the plus three melee coming through also. 
playing. Looking to push forward. Storm actually hits the pylon. And we just have our Voidray. Overhead, backing it up as well. Things will dive onto some gateways. Obviously, again, Max Max really ensuring to wall off against these link based stars, trying to help him out a little bit. Things do find their way in, but shouldn't be able to do too much, so Dark kind of just gifting away some of these links. I'll just head to the bottom right hand side. And again, we have the drop lords even from Dark. He's going to try and get a little bit more uh, opportunity there. With those drop lords looking to try and get something done. And the Lings and the Ultras just going to dive up. There's a storm. A couple of these Lings already going down. The Ultras continue to dive through. Stalks on that right side getting picked off. And now I call the Colossus. Going to be able to hold this off as well. 60 more Zerglings currently in production as our Dropper Lords move into the main base. So, huge amount of Dropper Lords here. Ultra and a chunk of Lings coming by. There is another storm. And we will see that Colossus being picked away at as well. Just going to see the Zelts going through. A couple of Lings being picked off. And the Ultra up on the top side continues to chase around a few of those probes. A bit more damage being dealt. The Overlords on the right side pull away as well. As we do have his handful of Banelings is going to wander in. They're just going to blow up some Zealots. So Zealots got taken down. More Lings showing up at the front. The Archon gets picked off. The Stalk is still fighting. And Robo facility taking damage too as we do see everything just getting cleaned up. It's also Dark Zombie that's getting cleaned up, right? While he hits a lot of bases, he supplies block Max Max in a pretty big way. Dark loses a fair amount of units, and so going a second time, you know, backing up and going again is going to take a little bit of a build-up here. Let's see what will happen. Well, we continue to push down to the bottom. We've seen the main army of Max Max a couple times over has looked pretty darn terrifying. The Immortals in the front, unfortunately, means that they're going to go down quickly. Less of an answer to these Ultras than there was before. And Max Max's army kind of just melts. Uh, as Dropper Lord's going to go in the main base. Don't think Max Max will have a way to deal with that. Doesn't have money to warp in. He has to type GG and Dark gets a 3-0 lead in this best of seven. Utter domination so far from Dark on the day. He is absolutely killing it. And now a map away from closing out this lower bracket. Gotta go. The game's done. Alrighty, guys. Game numero quattro. Or game number four. In the top right hand side, our red Protoss player is a Max Pax. In the bottom left, it is Dark as we get up. Ready to go. Game number four of this best of seven. Yes, it is best of seven. Natri goes and down on the natural probe is not there in time to get the block off, so that is a success story. coming through, pro coming up. Let's get ourselves the hatch pool all in the way. Wait to see where this is going to go. Just 
Tron just gonna chase, probably taking some damage. Our next is not Cyber Core. Again, just gonna be having ourselves the pool coming up. We got ourselves already. Again, next in the Cyber Core, continuing in for the moment. We got everything going there. Just for a little bit. Have this Overlord is gonna go and venture forwards. Again, a depth coming by. And I'm just gonna get Corona Bristol along. Again, the Stargate coming up. Probe coming through. And again, the Link Speed continuing up as well. For a little beat. And the Adept is gonna shade across and. And you got it going. Adept is gonna keep on moving around, of course. The Stargate's still coming through as well. We got a little bit of setup here. All these early stages looking for some further damage, looking for some further opportunities. All in is going to go and jump onto that set of rocks, the Oracle, and the Warp Gate continues through as well. Things be coming up and get things underway. And the single stalker just going to come across, try and push around onto that overlord. So again, trying to find a little bit of damage for now. Trying to get a little bit of something uh, going. See now, Oracle continues to move about. Then it's just a couple moments of cruising for a couple moments. We do have the, again, Rotron coming in. We get things set up. And then Single Zuggling going to be on the move a little bit. We do have the couple of Oracles going to move along as well. Just going to come back around on the left-hand side. And, well, the Queens are going to be there to push things back. So, again, getting some decent damage done across the board. You can see those Oracles still gathering just for the moment. And with A Roach is on the way, I mean, Dark's got a 3 0 lead. He's got so much room to play with here in terms of options, choices, how he approaches this. He really can do almost a little bit of anything right now. The world is his oyster in this ZVP. And yeah, he's just making a bunch of Ling Roach. He's going to send the Queens across the map. He's going to do a check. Can Max Bax actually hold on if I just attack him? Well, it's a pretty good check to do, <laughs> to say the least, right? Check if your opponent can absolutely just hold on against that or not. I'm, uh,. Feeling like that is a reasonable thing to check. As you have Queens making their way through that acceleration zone away, we had Dark Shrine coming up as well. So Max Pax eventually will get DTs to help against this, but obviously that is eventually. What about the right now? Do we have enough right now? That's a very good question. At the moment, I do not necessarily think we do. I see our units coming across. The Oracles are going to be there. The Ling uh, Ravager. Queen continues to gather as we get settled with this big push on the front doorstep. The first battery already being viled is not going to go down just yet, though. It's going to survive just a little bit longer. As you see, battery number two going to activate as an overcharge right now to try and save the cyber next course. The cyber core being absolutely super boosted, trying to keep that alive with another round of vials. I mean, there's just so much damage output here. We are really, really reliant on the Dark Temple coming up and saving the day, but how long does that take? Because right now, we're about to kill off the entirety of the natural, probably the entirety of the main. By then, Dark will be able to probably justify going home and just playing defense as required. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. It's not there yet, but definitely taking steps in the right direction. Now we just move up. The Lings are going to move around. And yeah, the Oracles, I guess, do help to kind of hold off a little bit. Dark Shrine is finished, but we actually need to then get the warping going. We're going to be seeing a couple DTs are here, but 
Not going to be able to do too much. Not going to save the natural at the very least. And Dark backs away. His layers are very well uh, produced as well. So we're actually very close to having just uh, detection available from overseas very shortly as well. So that should be a pretty big factor too. And yeah, obviously DTs as well struggle to clean up the lings quickly because obviously you overkill each and every Zergling quite heavily, so... Pretty big factor as our charge continues up. Just gonna be seeing all of our drones still continuing together here. And these are the lings getting settled for the moment. Still running on that roach speed. Oracles will at least deflect those Zerglings, so nothing more gained from those for a moment or two. They will just end up being pushed back. You have the DT chased around as well, so just going to see that DT getting pushed about a little bit. Lings still jumping onto this group of Stalkers. And just going to make their way in towards the natural also, where the Nexus is still a potential threat you can jump on. I'd say overall, though, we're dealing with this pretty handily. Definitely pretty decent. All said and done. Got ourselves that roach speed continuing through as well. And the plus one missiles, the roach speed coming about, the extra gates on the way. We do have our lings running across the other side. Couple of getting surrounded. The Archon will be there to take a few shots also. Just Ravages plus one missiles coming by. 50 supply lead from Dark. I mean, as you get ready to go again, we'll push him back before was the DTs. We'll see what pushes him back this time around as, again, all this Roach Ravage continues to gather together. And I've got a few more Crows of Vars. I mean, that army of the Max Packs just looks terribly small. 110 to 30 army supply. Oh, Roach Ravage is still moving up. We do have the feelings nibbling into the mineral line as well. A few probes already going down. Now Roach Ravager pulls back over the left-hand side where there is this group of Archons we can start to work on through. Roach Ravage is just going to hit the natural and dark. Looking to complete this 4-0. This is what I'm not a fan of when it comes to these uh, best of sevens, because when it's a 4-0, I feel like it could have been a 3-0.